Welcome to Day Trade Like a Pro. This is the review for the S&P 500 for Wednesday, December 11th. We had the FOMC fund statement today. They kept rates the same. The market liked that. We've been saying at least for a week that we're expecting the market to continue to push higher. All of our important price levels on the pullback have been holding. So excellent sign for that. So what we're looking at here, five minute chart, this orange line up here and this orange line right here, these are part of our prediction points. Prediction points are a proprietary algorithm that we generated or created back in 2007. And really every day since 2007, they've been predicting not only the support and resistance, entries, exits, take profits, but they also predict Predict what the range and the volatility for the trading day is going to be. So if you haven't seen those, go check them out at daytradelikeapro.com. Now, looking here in the live trade signals room, we had this price at 30, 31.34. Now, if you stay here with us till the end, I'm going to give you a preview of what tomorrow's market's going to look like. But I want to do the review here first, and we'll give you the preview for tomorrow. So coming into the day, we said, worst case, we'd want a little lower, a few points lower to hold. Worst case, we said ideally that 34 would hold. So what happened here, probe down here to 34 half. I know a number of traders got this trade right here all the way from 36 area back up here to 42 area. So about five points on that. It's about three points from here up to this area right here. So a pretty easy three points on that. And then we had the long again from here all the way back up to here. That's about 11 points on that trade. So this was the news. And if you just got in here and held it for up to here, there's 11 points on that trade. So that's about 19 points on those pretty simple three trades. Now, if you're a member of Prediction Points or the Live Trade Signals, this was not a BD1 because there was no breakdown. We said that if we broke here, it was simply just for 34. So 34 right here, there was no short opportunity here. It was a long from here. And if anything, it was take some of your profit or if you're a one contract trader, take all of it and then add one. But either way, so... If you have questions about that, post that in the chat room and we'll answer those. So let's jump in here to tomorrow. So let me show you what we have here for tomorrow. We've got 51 quarter and we don't anticipate that being a big major stopping point or something. Might get some pullback from there. And then up above that, we've got 31.55. Depending on what the reaction's like from here, we might see a little bit bigger pullback. So not a big pullback from here, probably a little bit bigger pullback from here. If we get a big pullback from here, maybe don't see that big pullback from here. It's just going to depend on how things play out here. Up above that, we have the all-time high at 58. Then we've got 59.75 as the prediction point. So very possible we probe through the all-time high, hit some stops, get some buyers in the market, and then get some pullback and get everybody back out of the market or back into the market. Above 59.75, check this out, we've got 31.80.75. So if we get up above here tomorrow and there's a lot of buying coming into the market, we're going here. Okay, so we'll obviously break this down in the morning for you when we do the pre-market walkthrough. But wanted to give you a little bit of a sneak peek of what tomorrow's market looks like. And we will see you in the live trading signals room tomorrow. And as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for following us here along on YouTube. You can like or subscribe uh, to the channel here. And we'll keep putting out content like this for you.